Volume 11, Teaching 310 Come to me, lost and wandering humanity. Seek first my kingdom, and when you are already in it, drink in the inexhaustible source of my wisdom. But do not forget that my kingdom is not of this world, and that only by fulfilling my laws of love you can conquer it. Disciples, the present year of 1950 will bring decisive events for all men. That is why your responsibility is so great when you find yourselves listening to my teaching. Humanity is sick, blind, and one step away from the abyss. The Father, through you, comes to save her. Truly I tell you, it will not be lost. If I love all my children equally, why then is there desolation in the world? This is the question that men are asking, and you know the reason for the events. It is not the first time that your spirit comes to inhabit this world. It has been a long time that through different subjects, I have allowed him to reincarnate so that he would repair his mistakes and dignify himself before my law. I put the spirits on earth from the beginning of their formation so that they would win on their own merits the power to reach my kingdom. The spirit of man has been the favorite creature of creation. I have donated free will as proof of my love. All beings are subject to my will. But if men, in the exercise of their free will, have only known how to get away from the path of my love, they must, by that same path, traced by their free will, reach their salvation. The time of harvest has come for every spirit, and that is why you contemplate the confusion among men. But truly I tell you, in this chaos, each one will reap his own sowing. But what will become of those children who have always broken my law? Truly, to all those who sleep without wanting to analyze, without studying my lessons, the test will come to you like a whirlwind that will make you fall. And for those who have obeyed my teachings, it will be as a stimulus for their fulfillment, as a beautiful reward that God grants them. The Father is inexhaustible activity. He works eternally for all his children and before that example, you too must be tireless in the fulfillment of your work so that you identify yourselves with your Lord. Understand that for you, your work is a true blessing because it consists of getting closer and closer to your God. That is the secret of the perfecting of your life. Man has evolved in his development many fruits are that he has achieved in order to serve humanity. But now in his pride he has come to believe himself superior to his creator. You ask me, can I help my children to get out of their confusion? And I answer, yes people. The opportunity that I have given to the Spirit in its reincarnations, in its human life, it is proof of my love, because my kingdom can only be conquered with the good deeds of love and charity that my children, following the dictates of your conscience and in full use of your free will. You, even when you feel small and weak, must help your brothers with the infinite power that I have entrusted you with prayer, the clean and pure prayer that I have taught you is the one that must unite the whole humanity in the fold of my love. Pray, disciples, send your thoughts as a message of peace toward those who with their intelligence are transforming your life so that the fruits that you reach are like balm of the pains of humanity. Why does the Lord call you the chosen people? Because from the first time I pointed out a delicate mission among your brothers, but I did not endow you with greater gifts or leave you over the other people, but I made you the faithful son, the emissary of my message of light, 
and love for all people still wandering on earth. I have granted you the grace to listen to my word through the spoke person. Message is that when the time comes, you must take to the heart of humanity. Disciples, take advantage of the time. Look at the men sunk in their materialism, looking for the false voices of the world. Suffering will be in them, and only then will they awaken to their consciousness. The suffering, though you do not understand it while you are living it, it is for your spirit a blessing. Rise up in spirit towards me, above all pain, above all temptation or weakness, and then you will understand how beautiful is the path that I offer you in the fulfillment of my law. If you look at humanity that in its prediction has come to the height of its perversity, I tell you, the spirit has evolved, the cruelty of wars has awakened it, and today he seeks peace on all roads. He finds himself at the crossroads. This is your mission, Israel. Each one of you must lead humanity with your prayer and example. No one has the right to speak to the imperfections of his fellow man, because who of you is perfect? To judge nobody and be a good example among men, this is how you should live, as a reflection of eternal peace and happiness. And men, fed up with so much suffering, will come to you to say to you, Give us of your bread. Give us of that inexhaustible water. Nations are fighting for a peace that they have not yet achieved. In some parts of the world, wars have raged unstopped. But in others, chaos continues to envelop men in their fratricidal struggles. In vain they want peace to reign in this world because they lack love and charity. Men tremble in fear at the new weapons created by human intelligence. Help them, people. Extend to them my message of love that I have come to entrust to you. Do not feel preferences for races, languages, or ideologies. See only in them your brothers in need of advice and love. Pray, because truly I tell you that my peace, overcoming selfishness and human frailties, will reach all peoples of the earth. Thus will my kingdom come to you, and then the inventions that now cause destruction and death will be only employed in the reconstruction necessary to make this world a true paradise. I want man to finally get perfected and govern this planet as the Father governs the universe with love. The man who comes to have great faith in my law and who with true love teaches my doctrine has nothing to fear because he will be an instrument of mine and at the same time a part of God. Disciples, just as the light dispels the shadows so you with my divine message can dispel the ignorance of humanity. My word revealed in this third era will make men discover the true sense of justice and they will make laws inspired by my work. This doctrine, still unknown to humanity, was spread throughout the earth, establishing itself in the heart of many peoples. Spirituality will reach its fullness in the humanity of the future. You have had the grace to listen to my messages through my spokespersons, but you will not see the flowering of my doctrine, because by then you will no longer belong to this earth. It will be other generations that bear witness to the fulfillment of my word, because the mission of being forerunners of spirituality fell to you. Not for this reason will your mission be less important than that of future generations. On the contrary, Think that a lot of it depends on you, that those are guided by the right path, that they be good interpreters of my work and good disciples. You will do your part, which I have already told you is very important, but you will not be conceited of it, 
because whoever is conceited within a spiritual work, that person has not known how to be a worthy disciple. Since one of the main conditions to be a disciple of mine is humility. Contemplate yourself in the mirror of your consciousness in order to see he does not reflect impurity. Look into the inner mirror before trying to judge the work of your brothers. Then there will be more clarity and truth in your deeds. I tell you this because I see that many of you enjoy judging the errors that in the various cults your brothers commit as well as their rites and practices. I tell you you better not judge religions nor creeds since you do not yet know its spiritual scope. I will leave you as counselors, but not as agitators. Your seat will be of peace and harmony, but never of confusion nor of violence. My word is one of unification and peace, so that by drawing inspiration from it, you may know how to reach out to your brothers always knowing how to respect your faith as something sacred because your faith is an interior altar in which I inhabit. Then you will know how to see in your brothers the development that through their struggles, their effort, and their physicals. If, when comparing the way your brothers practice their worship and the way you have, you have found differences, do not stop judging from the outside and know how to penetrate deeply where there is truth. If you are spiritualist, think that you will always have to seek the spirit and not the external forms. If thus you come to understand your brothers, you will soon discover that every man advances by a different path, but that all paths converge at the same point that is the path toward the light, toward the true and life. You see that just carrying in your spirit the knowledge of my word is not enough, because the most important part, which is to put my teachings into practice, that is the test in which you must show how much you have learned from my word. When I have spoken to you in a figurative sense, and I have told you that I close your lips, it has been to give you to understand that at that moment I have blessed your lips, so that through them your spirit can express your inspiration and repeat my divine words, leaving said lips closed to judge, criticize, lie, or blaspheme. Guard my teachings with love and let your spirit, like a torrent contained by many centuries, overflowing with words of comfort, light, Balm, wisdom, and peace. It will not be necessary for you to pronounce my name frequently. On the contrary, the less pronounced and better practice my lesson, you will have given the greatest of your testimonies. Little by little, go filling in your heart your fellow men as true brothers. Go looking at humanity as one family, but beware of proclaiming it. Never publish your merits because those only correspond to me to judge. The only thing that you must make known through your life and your words is my work because it must be known by your brothers. The humility of the spiritualist has to be real, not apparent, so that his footprint on earth is light. See how my word is not and cannot be a new religion? This work is the luminous path will be to spirituality, unite all ideals, creeds, and religions to reach the gates. I give you in this word peace and sweetness that will make you forget your pains. I strengthen your faith and I give light so that you follow the path that leads to me. That light inspires you, invites you to pray for those who suffer, present or absent brings you closer to your unknown brothers who live far from you. You can feel or caress materially. My doctrine teaches you to ask for everyone and to feel what happens in the heart of your fellow man. I have told you that I am all present, that no one is absent or distant from me, and I come to give you the power to transport yourselves to go after those who need help, consolation, or companionship.
How much good will you be able to do the day you recognize your gifts and know how to use them for the benefits of your brothers? The prepared spirit can bridge distances, face dangers, and overcome obstacles to get where it is requested. If you carry in your spirit a serious weight because you have not been able to erase your past guilt, work spiritually and you will feel the lost peace and joy return to you. My word makes you live the first times. Remembering my manifestations through the patriarchs and prophets and my word through the Messiah in the second era. I make you feel my father's love and your spirit rests knowing you are watched and protected by my charity. I speak to you with the same wisdom that I as a teacher poured out on my disciples and today as the Holy Spirit. I show you more page of the book for you to study and enlighten yourself. My will is that you gather in one only the three testaments given in three eras and prepare yourselves to answer to those who ask you the reason for these manifestations. The example of your elders is written in inedible letters. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, who left their people a seed of faith, love, and perseverance, they fulfilled their destiny and they are with me. I am not asking you for sacrifices because those times are over. Your life is hard today and I just want you to spiritualize. But if I point out to your children the mission of taking my doctrine to other countries, do not oppose it. Yes, you. I will take to lead a crowd with your word and examples. Do not refuse. So you will leave a mark in this time and will show future generations the fruit that my word cultivated. The time to struggle has come for you. The ministers of the great religions make an alliance with each other to feel strong and fight against my chosen ones. And when the time comes, they will want to attribute to their talent this revelations that I have entrusted to you, whom I have prepared humble and simple. If in you I have deposited this grace, it is because I know you and I have purified and cultivated you to use your understanding. But this that I have given you belongs to all my children, and I do not want it to be the cause of fighting. When the struggle is after 1950, time when you will no longer have my communication in this way, how much you will feel the absence of my word, and then I will only allow you to imitate my apostles of great faith and strong will. My word will soon reach other nations and will stop men in their hatred and desire for revenge. See, they still don't know the sick are raised from their beds and there are already rumors of new wars. Homes have not been rebuilt or restored peoples and there is already thirst for blood. My message of peace and harmony will reach them. You know that beyond your continent, nations have been devastated and pain has reached our hearts. There are no children, young or old, who have not tasted a cup of bitterness and among them I discover who despite their grief have the strength to ask that the nations that are kept in peace not be disturbed by the war and in different sets I find pious spirits who pray with sincere love and compassion for those who pass through those great tests. I receive their works, I respect their customs, and I take into account their merits. Watch, pray, ask good disciples, and I will grant you my grace. I protect every creature of mine and bless all nations. You will all receive peace depending on how you have worked it, but I promise you better times. After the debugging to be done on earth, being sent by me will come, virtuous spirits with great missions to form the obedient family. Four generations after you will pass so that my doctrine may spread throughout the world and collect beautiful fruits. Not all my children will understand at this time my coming in spirit, nor will they know that I have come to prepare humanity to make it return to me. I want that just as you have sprouted from me clean so you can return so that you can enter the celestial kingdom. Each spirit carries a virtue that frees it from snares and threats, temptations, and a guiding light which is consciousness. If I have given man free will, it is so that he has his own will, 
and for this reason he feels owner of his life, his actions, and the like to me. I have shown him my love by making him the possessor of a high destiny, and I have surrounded him with complacencies, even if you have not obeyed the laws I have given you. My call this time have been for everyone, and there are few who follow me. Not because you live today in this world you feel far from the Father, I want you to look at me from your home. That your heart be sensitive to every divine manifestation. May you love me and be closely united to me. If you have my nature, though be it in a limited way, you can understand me and do great works. The path that I have traced for the spirits leads to elevation, although in it you will find many times thorns and thistles. If you look for holy or just men to guide you, you will not find them. If you want to seek the supreme perfection, look at me in infinity. Communicate with me, and I will advise you and inspire you. You have not told the world what you have heard from the Master, and that material lives and cold worlds awaits my sign, a warning or a word to return to your Lord and start a new life. Scientists observe and they wonder why so many phenomena in space. Theologians want to penetrate my secret sanctuary. And everything spirit sensitive to my present wonders if the world has passed into a new era. And I have the answer to those eager, thirsty for knowledge, to whom I will give to drink at the fountain the water that quenches their thirst. You are already prepared. Your gifts are lasting. If you have appreciated the grace you have, not the lose. If you have merits, increase them. Because no sacrifice will be sterile nor any effort in vain, because each work is written, and there is no hand that can erase or alter your book. You who carry a spirit of Israel, know that this essence that my word pours out in the same that I gave you in the first and second times. Now I have come to show you the pages of the book of life in its third part, and like the previous ones, it contains my infinite wisdom. I am the book in which life is written and in which all wisdom exists. Come, knock on my door, and immediately I will open to you. I want to contemplate in your heart true longing for light. If you feel that your understanding has reached a limit of understanding and that can no longer go further, do not fear, because then your spirit, for whom there are more wide horizons, I will rise above the smallness of matter until it reaches that light it wishes to see. When man has longed to increase his knowledge and has entrusted everything to the power of his intelligence, has encountered insurmountable obstacles for his human mind, and has plunged into the abyss full of mystery without being able to satisfy his curiosity or his longing to find more light for his science. Until now, Men of science have lacked spirituality, so their knowledge has always been reduced. Since they have not known how to find the true origin, the cause, and the beginning of what they study. Truly I tell you that after this age of materialistic, selfish, and perverse science, there will come a time when the men of science will know how to penetrate the arcane of nature, spiritually prepared with prayer, clothed in humility and respect, inspired by noble, lofty human ideals and purpose. Humanity is approaching the end of that world created by the science of man, of that false and superficial world. And it will be men who by their own hands destroys the work that his pride and greed built. Then will come science, meditation, and with it regeneration, purpose, and elevated ideals. A new era will open before man and a new age will penetrate humanity, purify it with pain and refine in experience. A new world will raise man, but it will be a world guided by the spirit, illuminated by consciousness, channeled by the path of my law. I want this world to understand that material science is not and will never be the goal of your existence, since with it you have not been able to achieve your happiness on earth. You must know that when leaving this planet, so that you can reach a higher abode, 
You will not be starting from a scientific and materialistic world, but from a world spiritualized by love, by virtue. Materialized spirits are blind in other worlds because their faculty to understand the spiritual. They have neglected preventing him from being sensitized to perceive the subtle, the pure, the elevated, the luminous. No one dares to deny that in his being he carries spiritual missions. Only I and your spirit know the pact that between the Father and his children exists. But believe and know that you will have to answer that of all the gifts and positions that I have entrusted to you, you will have to give an account when you return in spirit to the eternal kingdom. As you have reached a time when you can already understand, accept, and conceive of spiritual life, I have sent my word, which is doctrine for the spirit, which is a sure way and full of light, so that you may come for it towards me, walking with security and firmness, restoring with patience and love, shedding the cloak of impurities that you have carried for a long time and acquiring more and more light, so that at that time, blessed to be absent from this world of trials and struggle, you may make a worthy entrance into the valley that awaits to bring you a harvest of light, a fruit of peace. You all carry my light. Every spirit possesses that grace. But while in some that light has been increasing, growing, going out to manifest itself, in others it only remains in a latent state, hidden, ignored. But I tell you in truth, that no matter how backward a man is spiritually, he will always be able to distinguish between good and evil, so that you are all responsible for your works before me. I must tell you that responsibility grows in you as you develop your knowledge, because you will be more and more sensitive to the dictates of consciousness. Do you realize how you need on earth a teaching that comes to facilitate the understanding of a lawful, fair, and simple way? Here you have my word, people. The promise word, the message announced by me from the second era, the one whose essence would be the spirit of truth, the divine light that will come to clarify all the mysteries that the minds of men could not penetrate. My peace be with you.